Greetings and welcome to another LGR unboxing of things you have sent my way. And yes, this is quite a stack here once again, even though I've been having to turn away more items than ever due to space concerns and just trying to cut back on stuff. But and it seems to even out because the things that were sent to me previous months are just now getting here and, you know, it all piles up anyway. But uh, either way, thank you very much for sending all this stuff. So let's get right into opening it up. First up here is a little package from Wizbit Art in the UK, and I think I actually know who this is from. That is an LGR coffee mug, and that looks awesome. Hey Clint, take this mug, it's dangerous to go without coffee. Thanks for all the great content and inspiration to start my own channel. Neil, aka Retro Man Cave. Yes, indeed, he did send me this mug, he said he was going to, and uh, his channel is friggin' awesome. I've been enjoying it a whole lot lately, so thank you very much for the mug, sir. Got another one here from Neil in the UK. I don't think it's the same guy. Oh, you're very welcome. LGR is truly a wonderment. That's a, that's a really nice way to put it. Thank you. Ah, so here we go. This is a copy of Micro Machines V3 for the PC. That is friggin' awesome. I have another one. However, this other one that someone sent uh, is in French and other languages. Uh, this one's in English, so that's awesome. And he also included a bonus game here. This is Crusader, a conspiracy in the kingdom of Jerusalem. I've never heard of this at all. Kinda seems like FMV or at least some digitized actors. That's fascinating. Thank you very much, Neil. And in case you're wondering what I do with uh, the notes and stuff, I try to keep all of them. I typically put them inside of the item that it came with or next to it. Well, that's pretty much all that is. Uh, I'm, no I'm not actually knowing. I don't know what I'm saying here. Uh, I'm just talking. Okay, good. Got one here from Sweden, from Kell. K-J-E-L-L. -L. I should know how to pronounce that, but I, I don't. Oh, it's a very simple and straight to the point note. <laughs> You're very welcome. Ah, yes. A copy of Alone in the Dark 3 for the PC. That is awesome. I did not have this one whatsoever. I recall he said that uh, there's no CD in here, but it did have all the other things. The CD, though, I have a loose copy of that. So that is perfectly fine. Thank you very much for this. That's awesome. Finally have the original trilogy of Alone in the Dark games on PC. Got a little one here from K. Just K. Oh, Kellen. Okay, as promised, uh, here's the all games. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this sounded really fascinating. Mm, daughter watches all thrifting and you're partial to tech tales. Well, <laughs> that's awesome, thank you. So yeah, I really like these compilations like this and this is one that I had uh, never heard of before. It's an over $500 value of copyrighted games, including Corn Cob 3D. That's the one that got my attention the most, but just some interesting DOS games in here. Thank you very much for sending me this. Got one here from Greg. Instead of using packing peanuts, he's used some memories of his past to fill the void. Oh, I see, I see. Like RAM. A better packing material than packing peanuts? Uh, probably not, but it works. Oh, how nice, look at that. Ah, yes. It's a teeny tiny sharp compact electronic calculator. This design is just so cool. I was super excited to take a look at it when he sent me the information. Look at that. Yeah, man, look at this design. This is a light of some kind? <laughs> I really don't know. I have no idea how this uh, goes together. This is fascinating though. What a cool little like compact design. Thank you very much. Got one here from John. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So look at this. This is uh, Veering Software as Mario for MS-DOS on a disc like that. I I've never seen it on a disc exactly like that. Thanks for taking this off your hands. Like, yeah, you're very much welcome. No problem with the ranting at all. I appreciate the disc, John. That's really interesting. I'm quite partial to these uh, particular games. I've talked about Veering a few times. Um, but yeah, this, this is cool. Thank you. Got one here from Rita. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so this is a copy of Initial D for the PC. And yes, it was oddly enough released here by ValueSoft. Don't know exactly how they got the rights to that, but it happened. So thank you very much. This is interesting to see. Okay, I got one here from Klaus in Sweden. Awesome electronics, cute cats, and apparently music and or other recordings of some kind. Uh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. The Datalux Space Saver Keyboard. All right, 
Let's see what this is. Man, there's an assortment of goodies in here. Okay, here is the keyboard. Uh, the keys feel weird and the whole thing feels super cheap, but that is such a cool look. It seems like a, about a 75% sized keyboard here and it has a AT connector and then PS2 and Klaus also included some other things here. I have a copy of Myst 5 and uh, some C64 games, looks like Ghostbusters, Yar Kung Fu, Bloody Guts, ooh, Blood and Guts, that's right. Mr. Do, Superman, Boulder Dash, the construction kit, that's cool, didn't have that one. Uh, Kickstart 2, Bomb Jack, and Infiltrator. There's some classic C64 stuff in here, thank you very much. I love Euro C64 games. Got one here from Willis. Loves the show and Odd Wears Your Favorite. Fantastic, thank you. Hope you enjoy the quick art. <laughs> I've got Evolva of Steel. So yeah, this is what he sent. This is a copy of Evolva, a really fascinating game that I have never played, but it's always intrigued me quite a bit. Got one here from Christopher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Ah, here we have an Ultra Racer PC by Interact. The Mini Racing Wheel, which includes Andretti Racing, Need for Speed 2, and Moto Racer, a fantastic assortment. That is some odd wear right there. I, you know, I could see this working. I'm curious to try it out. We got one here from Sexy Bobo. I'm a little cautious with that sender's name, but that's okay. Ooh. Let's see, we have some discs on top here. Huh. 35 more great games for Windows. Ooh, more of them. It's by MicroStar. This is, uh, this is a thing. So here we go. This is Swamp Gas Visits the USA. Help Swamp Gas, your alien friend, learn the geography of the US in this fast-paced adventure. I have heard of this. It is an edutainment thing that seems um, to have had some weird memories instilled in some folks, because I've had people ask me about it before. Uh, thank you very much, Sexy Bobo, and uh, also for these. I'm, I'm curious what's on here. I don't know, probably not much. Got another little one from I. Gillis in Canada. Oh, nice. That's a nice condition Hot Wheels mouse right there. That'll pair wonderfully with the Hot Wheels computer. And we got a note here. Apparently found that mouse while vacationing on Vancouver Island and my thrifting videos are dope autofocus. That's what that means, right? Thank you very much. This is awesome. I don't know what that is on the back. Got one here from Timu in Finland, and apparently I pronounced that really weirdly. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Timu sounds fun, though. It sounds like emu, and I like that. That's a fascinating way to pack what I assume are compact... Uh, no, these are PCMCIA cards. I got some AirStation wireless Gs here that are uh, PCMCIAs. And then also some GT Max E broadband wireless data cards. I don't know if I can use... Those exactly? It looks like you put a sim in there. These I can definitely try out in something that I have, or a thing or two. Thank you very much. Okay, I got one here from Brian. Ah, yes. Please enjoy this Sound Blaster Autogy Platinum. Okay, thanks, Brian. <laughs> nice grid paper. I haven't had one of these in many years. This is the Creative Autogy uh, Sand Blaster card with uh, some pretty cool features. I had one of these in, I don't know, it was around 2004 or something. It might have been the G 2 but either way, I always really liked it because of this front panel. Uh, the one that I had was uh, black, but I was particularly interested in this one that he said he was going to send because it was beige, and this should work out in some of my... Um, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet exactly. I was thinking of doing like a Windows XP build at some point. You know, this would be kind of great for that. It needs some cleaning, but uh, whatever. Either way, this is cool. It's got the cables for it. And I just like the fact that you have all these cool audio things in the front of your computer. Um, so this is this is a cool car. It brings back memories. Thank you very much. Got one here from Ian in Australia. Hey, Clint, I budgie smuggled your bonus for the year. I, <laughs> I'm going to assume that means something good. Uh, I <laughs> Oh, is that what budgie smuggling is? There's, there's money in there. Based on the popular TV and book series. Hmm. Maybe it's more popular on TV in Australia or something, because I've never heard of the Saddle Club. But anyway, thank you very much. Uh, this is my kind of budgie smuggled weirdness. Got one here from Canon Custom Creations. 
Oh, awesome. This is from uh, Ryan Cannon of his uh, Custom Creations store. Started watching shortly after his heart transplant in October of 2012. Wow. I'm very glad you uh, were able to get through that. And thank you very much for this right here. Oh man, this is gonna look really cool. So it has a, uh, a wooden base. How appropriate is that? <laughs> I got some LEDs down the bottom here and uh, this will plug into the power supply. And I'm going to turn the lights off and see what this thing looks like. This looks, that's awesome already. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera, but um, okay, with the white balance adjusted, the brightness, that, that's a little more close to what it actually looks like, but uh, it's much more vibrant in person. Oh, that's that's really cool. Thank you very much, sir. Check out his store, Canon Custom Creations. Oh yeah, dude, get all the sweet merch this time. Got one here from G in Canada. This one is thoroughly packed. I appreciate that, but good grief. <laughs> ah, here we go. This is Star Trek Klingon Academy. I got some stickers on there, but I can get rid of those. Very cool. Did not have this one. I've never played it, but I quite like Star Trek games. So thank you very much, G. Reyes. Okay, I got one here from Peter. I'm Dick Kickum. Someone memes. Enjoy Turrican and the surprise edition of Terry S. Taylor's Imaginarium. Well, holy crap, yes. Uh, good luck at college. Yeah, so this is what he said he was going to send us. This is Turrican. That's fantastic. What a cool game. I actually did not have um, this early release like this on cassette tape for the Commodore 64. And yes, Terry S. Taylor's Imaginarium songs from the Neverhood. I've always been quite fond of this quirky soundtrack. It's, um... You know, the game, there's various things to say about it, but yeah, this, this is a really cool soundtrack, so thank you. It's not easy to come across. Got one here from Return Address, <laughs> Sheffield in the UK. I, I don't know, there's no name on it. Okay, Chemical Spillage Simulation. <laughs> I love these obscure simulators, man. Oh, oil transportation safety and hazardous pollutant recovery, and oh my goodness, that just looks absurd. Uh, thank you to whoever sent this. Yeah, I, I can't read that, but uh, thank you. Okay, the packages are starting to get a little larger. This one is from Rick. Are people named Rick allowed to eat pickles anymore? I'm just curious. Enjoy your new toy. Here's a little history of the laptop if I'm interested. Yes, I am. He got it at his first IT job about 16 years ago. And thank you. I am glad you're enjoying the videos and hope that you do enjoy for years to come. I hope that we're still around in years to come. <laughs> Yes, this is a Sony Vio laptop. Let's see, what exact model is this? PCG9401. Yeah, I've always been really curious about these uh, Sony Vio laptops. I've never actually owned one, and I just have always kind of liked the design, and at the same time I don't, because it's like this bluish, grayish, metallic, but matte. It's just a strange thing. That's got a satisfying click, though. That's really cool. Wow, I'm looking forward to trying this out, man. It's a little newer than laptops I normally mess with. Got one here from Michael. Hey, I got a note here from Michael. He found this at a Goodwill and bought it immediately. Wow, dude. A little beat up there, but that's okay. This is Netstorm, Islands at War. Real-time real strategy reaches new heights, like I guess the sky. Rain, wind, and thunder? This sounds really interesting. <laughs> book of Nimbus. That's a pretty cool little book. Wow, that's a really cool book. Hey, I got another one here from, I don't know, there's no name. Oh, ah, there's a copy of uh, Schism, Mysterious Journey. I haven't actually played this, and wow, that's cool. Did not know that the box opened like that. I don't remember who gave this to me, but uh, thank you very much. I'll try to put your name at the bottom of the screen there. That one here from Adam. <laughs> The guy with the uh, the police evidence bags again, I guess, huh? That is that's a really cool gimmick, I gotta say. Anyway, came across the enclosed items within a week of each other. Hope you enjoy them. I will, man. And if anything, your presentation of shipping stuff in like all these evidence bags and whatnot. That's just so cool. Dude, this is a, a Merker test drive. 
disc. If you don't remember Merker, they were a weird Ford brand back in the 80s. Yeah, this kind of looks like a Ford simulator thing, but like for the Merker XR4 Ti. That is truly unusual. That That's so cool. All right, so that one had a copy of Medieval 2, Total War. Ah, there we go. I Spy School Days. I've actually been meaning to grab some of these. I very rarely come across them boxed though. I have a few loose copies, but did not have this one in any way whatsoever. Got one here from Raymon. Ramon, maybe? The claw, the ultimate 3D action controller. Mmm, yeah, I guess, man. I mean, I'm curious. Deadly moves have never been this easy. Sure, that's some oddware. Thank you very much. One right here from Canada from Philippe. Hey, Clint, here's Clan's great game. That's in good shape. Clans, the role-playing action adventure. I have never played this at all, but it looks kind of like Diablo, so I am absolutely down with that. Got one right here from Sean. Well, there's a note. Clint meant to send this sooner, but it was in the middle of moving, so life stuff got in the way. Enjoy. I will. Life stuff always gets in the way. It's totally okay. I'm running out of things to say. This right here is Castle of Dr. Brain. Fantastic. Did not have this. Always wanted it. I know it's one of those kind of edutainment kids games classics. And it looks pretty complete, too. Yep. It's even got the um, funky looking manual. That one here from Lewis. Ha! <laughs> Alright, I've seen this around on eBay before, but I've never actually tried it out. This is the SFX PC Joypad with keyboard emulation options and also a stereo headphone jack with volume control. Very much like a 3DO's controller, but, I mean, even has 10 hit games by Apogee. Mm-hmm. That's some quality shareware. Dude, nice. Suncom Apogee collection. What a weird thing. Look at that. So you got an AT keyboard connector with a pass-through there. Uh, three and a half millimeter jack for audio, and then the 15 pin game port right there. Plug in headphones there, got volume. <laughs> that's really cool, thanks a lot. Got one here from Carlo. I guess that's how it's pronounced K A A R L O. Whoa! That is awesome! Here's the Atari art book. Keep up the great videos and enjoy. You bet! I have seen this many times online and have drooled over it many times online. I'm a big fan of box art, as you probably know, because I've done quite a few videos on it. And uh, having these in just like large, high quality poster form, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's super cool. Got one here from RTL. Uh, <laughs> packing peanuts. Nah, ha, ha. There's a classic. Just Grandma and Me. That right there is a living book that I remember messing around with at some friend's house because I think they had a copy from the library. That's really cool. I don't have any of the living books in box. Well, I do now. And then there's also a DK multimedia thing here. Virtual Reality Bird. <laughs> I don't know why, but that title cracks me up. Uh, which is interesting because now there are a lot of like VR games where you're a bird, but that's not what this is. Awesome, thank you very much. This one's from the one and only Dimitri Bakilo. Actually, I've never said your name out loud, but uh, so sorry if I, I butchered it, but anyway, I know you've been watching for a long time. Oh, there's a big QR code. Let's see what that does. Anyway, this is the Soviet calculator he promised me. That's awesome. It apparently aligns its digits to the left side and not the right. Whoa. All right, so we've got a, an adapter here, which is, of course, I'm gonna need it because uh, that ain't American. Oh man, what in the world is that except the most wonderful thing I've ever seen? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just, just look at it, it's, oh, good grief. I gotta try this out. Wanna see something really cool? <laughs> it's like a switchblade, dude. Yeah, that's genuinely bizarre. What a neat thing, dude. Thank you. Got one here from Dennis. Hmm, Gamezilla, shameless plug. <laughs> well, that works for me. Here's a game you need it for the collection. Thank you. Conquered Kingdoms become the world's greatest conqueror. They're uh, MS-DOS, IBM PCs and compatibles. That looks really cool. I love kingdom games like this. I don't know if I'll love this one because I've never heard of it, but either way, wow. Comes with some awesome stuff in here. It's different. It's like a booklet of the maps, not just like one map. 
That one here from Devin. Been wanting one of these for a while. This is a Gravis mouse stick. Optical joystick that uh, connects via ADB and effectively works like a mouse. <laughs> it's kind of a weird in-between. The whole point of that was like, even if the game didn't have joystick capability uh, plugged in or uh, built into it, then uh, there you go. It works with this. Very cool, thank you. I got one here from Rebecca and Tony in the UK. Oh yeah, there's a thing. It's a SciTech SP550 stick and pad. The gamepad attaches to the side of the joystick and vice versa or whatever. So you can use it either as just a gamepad or a joystick or both together to have like more inputs and whatnot on the joystick itself. What a funky design and very cool. Yeah, that's my kind of thing. Thank you very much. Another one from Canada. This one is from Joe. Oh, yeah. And some colorful packing peanuts. This is why things keep piling up, even though I've pretty much stopped accepting donations. <laughs> yeah, discussed this a few months ago. It's okay. It takes a while to get here, but it's all good by me. Apparently these packing peanuts came to me from him through Nostalgia Nerd in the UK. Um, <laughs> I will treasure them forever. That's a pristine looking copy of DOS version 3.30. I can always use this. I've got a lot of machines that use it. Got a pretty large one here from Andy for teaching them the magic of thrifting. Oh, absolutely. It is a very magical thing. <laughs> okay. I was quite intrigued by this one when he told me about it. This is Epic's VCR Golf, which I did not realize that they made. Epic's typically made computer games, uh, sports games and stuff in the 80s. This one is a VCR game, so it's on DHS. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Holy crap. It's massive. There's the tape. Yeah. Yep, they're getting bigger. This one's from Joshua. Hmm, this package contains one invisible packing peanut. Okay. All right, a bunch of older computer software. Some really heavy stuff too. And uh, we have The Spies, Adventures in Europe, and this is something that I'm really happy to have because there's some interesting history here as far as like legal trouble where um, Broderbund actually kind of sort of ripped it off to make Carmen San Diego. Like there's a lot of, there's some debate there, of course. Um, this is The Ball Game, Electronic Zoo. I don't know what this is exactly, but I like the name, The Ball Game. We got here, Wizards. All those Z's, man, of Warlords. And there's just like nothing in the back. Like this just looks like a phenomenal amateur production. Could be really rare for all I know. Uh, this one I have been looking out for for a while. It's the Chamber of the Side Mutant Priestess. Just a funky game, man. All sorts of weird stuff from a Draconian. Oh yeah. And then there's these, which are, I mean, seriously, probably five pounds. Absolutely packed with stuff. Is that necessary? Like all that documentation and then you get one disc. <laughs> so you got Star Saga 1 and Star Saga 2. Just, and this is just as heavy and packed full of uh, documents. Thank you very much for all these. And I am super curious about that one. And then again, this is going to make for an interesting video. Got a large one, a very lightweight one from Matthew. Oh, a giant box for this thing only. This is an Antax Electronics Series 2 digital audio processor thing of some kind. I'm not entirely sure what this does, uh, but I will figure it out. Thank you very much. This is a card. Another pretty big package. This one's much heavier from Baxter. First things first here is a classic Gateway 2000 any key keyboard. It's programmable. It's got macros and cool stuff like that. And there's some accessories and uh, software and things in here. Got some tape drive dealios and some RAM, tapes and discs, some handy, uh, looks like drivers and gateway software. Always exciting. There was a note in there, I just now saw it. I'll give you a shout out when I unbox this. Yes, I will. Here is the shout out to Baxter Quartz. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, and what was the other main thing that he sent? It's a Gateway 2486DX266 in uh, this sort of horizontal form factor. I have some others that are uh, the towers. I love the fact that it has a dual floppy drive and a nice little CD tray here. Uh, yeah, this is just really cool. I love these computers. I've been meaning to do a retrospective on them. And I was hoping to get one of the uh, horizontal like desktop varieties and here it is so thank you very much Baxter 
Another big one here from Alexander. See, note first, to receive this TRS-80 computer in our store for recycling. Uh, yeah, definitely better in my hands than being recycled. At least I hope so. Thank you very much. How often do you see that? TRS-80 color computer model one still in its original box with apparently its original sticker for something right there too. Ooh, an assortment of software. Not entirely sure what this is. <laughs> Duo Sonic popcorn. That's a classic. That's cool to have. Oh man, those funky little TRS-80 Coco joysticks. I've never actually had one of these before. That's awesome. And the computer itself, which is, that's really cool. It's got the protective thing on the top here. Oh, definitely got to cover this thing at some point. Classic computer. That is so cool. Love the colors. Thank you very much for sending this. Oh, that's awesome. And last but not least, we have one from Germany, from Sven. Here's the guest box we talked about by email, plus a little surprise. Hmm. <laughs> High screen joystick. I don't know what that is, but that looks bizarre. And this, oh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Well, not the box anyway, I have a Gravis ultrasound, but um, this is pretty much the final piece of the puzzle I was hoping to get before I cover the Gus in a video. And they sent me the complete packaging minus the card, but I have a card, so that is awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Ah, uh, look at all the goodies. Thank you so much once again to everyone who has sent things and to those who have sent things in other forms, whether it be Patreon or just very kind messages. It's all appreciated and definitely helps keep this going in more ways than one. Although this may be the last video that I do like this for 2017. I'm not sure yet. As I've said many times, I am trying to cut back on so much stuff because I have a huge backlog. But again, things are still piling in from previous months and I just got an email last week of like, oh yeah, I said I was going to send this in 2014, but I'm just now sending it and I'm like, ah, oh, please don't send it to that address because it's an old one. I don't know what's happening, but either way, thank you very much for sending things and supporting the show and watching LGR and uh, be back to normal episodes here in just a couple days. Thank you for watching.